did you figure it out? Ellen cracked the code. Look, Look at, at that. <laughs> Look at this. It's such a beautiful virtual audience. I've never been so welcome from afar. This is amazing. Yeah. And, and some people are there all over the world, so it's different times and, and different places, so they're, uh, yeah, isn't that nice? This is really nice. I'm serious. Yeah. I, I, one guy is extremely excited to see me. He's dancing and everything. Yeah. yeah he's, he's doing a lot more than everybody else, which kind of yeah. makes me upset. I feel like everybody's energy should match his. Yeah. He's, he's been doing the WAP and everything else. It was yeah. very that, exciting. Everyone is now trying to compete with him because he <laughs> is the audience winner so far. But look at everybody go. Um, I, I like your shirt tucked in. That's you a like good it? choice. This was a, it a was good a good choice, choice right? Yeah, went, it wasn't tucked in before, and, and now it is, and I like it. Well, I went with the tucked in. I said, what can I do to get a compliment? And I said, if I go in <laughs> with the tucked in shirt, it's right. good. Oh, How I'm, are you? I'm not done with compliments. I like the outfit. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like you. Yes. And I like the whole thing, and, uh, and I miss you. I, I miss you, too. I haven't seen you in a while, and as I saw the last time I saw you, uh, your wife was on the beach with a giant... Ready to uh, pop. Ready to pop. She had a baby inside of her still. Yes. Be beautiful as ever. And, yes. And now you have a little baby girl. Yeah, man. Uh, family of four now. Baby girl is... My baby girl is almost seven months now. So wow. that was, That's how long ago that that's was. That's how yeah. long ago it was. Seven months, man. Yeah. Seven months. Thank you, guys. Kaori My Heart. That's her name. How? Uh, Kaori? Kaori My Heart. Beautiful. And what do you call her? I call her Ori. Cool. And I call her uh, Aspen, Lil Aspen Head. Why is that? Because her, her head looks like a ski slope. And, and uh, <laughs> so I call her Lil Aspen. Come here, Lil Aspen. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to stick with her. I, my, my father called me Bellhead, and I don't know why. Yeah. It wasn't shaped like a bell. It's just that he called me Bellhead. So Aspen Head is going to stick with her. Yeah, so mine's we'll... is strictly off the shape. Yeah. That's off the shape. And uh, so now you have four children. And at this point in the delivery room, are you... Are you there? Jaded? Am I jaded? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the that's the word you're looking for. Uh -huh. Hey, it's a baby girl. Cool. Where's she at? Bro. <laughs> Let me see her. All right, there she go. Can we wrap her up? Do we leave today? How long do we? What do we have to do? <laughs> Honey, what your legs feel like? You walking or no? <laughs> if you walking, we can get out of here today. I'm, I'm, at this point, all yeah. the panic that goes into it yeah. is gone. I've been there. Uh, I've done it. I've seen it. And you got to, you know, you got you got to be careful not to be too, you know, too relaxed because it, it it definitely does. Uh, it, it can it can come off weird to some other people in the in the room, like some of the doctors and yes. nurses around. Yeah. But you know, me and my wife were definitely like, uh, yeah, baby, you think you ready? She was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm dilated, but not enough. Let's chill for a little while longer. Like wow. we, were just, we were at the house. That's amazing. So she's just as chill as you are. She's just as chill. That's amazing. And are you done now? Uh, you know, if I could, Ellen, I'd throw these in the trash. I don't want them. Uh, I don't want no more babies, you know? But it's not up to me. I'd take these, throw them on the roof if I could. Uh -huh. um, you know, but I, I, I can't make those decisions. My wife, my wife, as of now, she says that she's done. But Ori, Ori is in like that perfect little baby stage, and then she gets that glow again. So you know, who knows? The, the house is just is getting louder. It's very active. I don't, I don't need any more activity in my house. Yeah. If I, if I, if I could say <laughs> respectfully in the in the the nicest way, I think that our family's fine the way it is. You know, I, I don't think we need any more additions. Yeah. Personally. And you probably don't. But if you would, it would be a wonderful addition. Yeah. If, 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 if it, I, if, if it happened. Yes. I'm, you know, if yes. it were to happen. Right. Am I, like, am I blown away by the news? At first, no. I got attitude. <laughs> but then, whoa, whoa. <laughs> right? I'll grow into it. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, another baby. Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. man. Um, and are, the 16-year-old, is she, uh, does she have a job? Because My 16-year-old does have a job. My 16-year-old is interning for me currently at Heartbeat Productions. Wow. And I couldn't be, I couldn't be prouder. That's yeah, fantastic. Like, this is a lot of, a lot of things. I, I've had a lot of success and major accomplishments in my life. My daughter asking me to learn the business and to truly, like, uh, come up under my wing and and grow was the biggest thing ever because it, it's not forced. I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't force her. I didn't say this is what you have to do. Like she wants to do it. She wants to learn the world of producing, the world of development. She's so creative, and that that's like the biggest compliment to to what I do. But what a lucky girl that she gets to like learn that way from yeah. her dad and from your company, which is. 
It's I insane. Mean, you're, and, she, and she's good. Like, she yeah. actually, I gave her a script to read, and I didn't even read it yet. I forgot that I didn't read it yet. And we had a call about the script, and she was so dialed in. She had notes. She had thoughts. She had ideas. Wow. And she was like, Dad, what do you think? And I was like, shut up, okay? <laughs> because you don't, you don't tell me what I think. It's, uh, it's for me to listen. Uh -huh. I, you know, I didn't want her to know that I didn't read the script right, yet. Right. Yeah, but I had no idea what she was talking She's about. She's coming the whole in time. handy. <laughs> um, all right, we have to take a break. I want to talk to you about uh, working out because I am fascinated by, right. by what you're doing because it's just insane. Well, let's discuss it. We will. We, I, that's what I just said. I okay. said we will. It was my idea. Well, I said I, that idea. I said, I said we'd talk about it. All right. All right? Well, we will. Okay. okay. We'll be back. We're back with Kevin Hart, and so Kevin, let's uh, show this video because I mean everyone knows you work out and mm -hmm. you post it, and uh, but let's take a look at you uh, working out here. Um, some dips, right? A couple of dips, and yeah. then uh, those crunch yeah. things, reverse yeah. crunches. Is that yeah. what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's some pull-ups. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you get up at well, this looks later. What time is that when you're boxing? Well, that that is that's that's still early morning. That's like. 9 a.m., which is very late. Yeah, it is. It's very late for me. What time do you get? You, you get up at 3.30 to work I'm out? A, I'm a 4 a.m. Get up at 4 a.m. I'm in the gym by 4.30, 5 a.m. What time do you go to sleep? Uh, depends on the day. Sometimes 10, could be 11. I only need about five hours. I'm not going to lie. Really? I need a lot of sleep, yeah. I'm yeah, like I need a lot of sleep. Five hours. What's so a lot? I just need a lot of sleep. What's a lot? Uh, like, like probably eight hours. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and... <laughs> It's a lot. It's, it's what most people, and, and sleep is very important for you. No, I'm, I, I definitely know that it is. I'm not saying it as if it's not. I'm saying I'm, I'm a full functional individual at off five. Of five hours. That's amazing. My son gets up with me now. I know. Yeah. I saw. My son is 13 now, and it's all about dad. I want to get up, and I want to work out with you. Once again, I don't make him. I didn't suggest it. It was right. something that he wanted to do, so I like that my... My habits are rubbing off yeah. on my kids uh, in the right way. Good habits. Good habits. I think so. Um, you uh, you look great, and I thought you looked good. You know, when everybody was during the quarantine and mm -hmm. just you know just doing whatever they wanted to do, you let your hair go gray. Yes. And I thought it looked good, but you obviously decided not to keep it gray. Well, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that's something we had to draw attention to. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, you know uh, some people. Some people may have thought that this was my hair, my regular hair. Uh, oh, of course you got a picture. Why wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not Morgan Freeman. That's, uh, that's that's me. That's actually me. I can go full gray. But why don't you don't you don't like that? Um, yeah, you, you know, it's not that I don't like it. I don't like the way my wife looks at me when it happens. <laughs> like, like I get, <laughs> like there's a couple of looks that she's given me where I've caught her thinking. You know, this is just not for me. Like, like <laughs> it, it gets so gray, uh -huh. so so gray, wow. and it just ages me up tremendously. I look, I look a lot older. But you're not worried about getting older. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, what are we? What like, what is, what is worry? Like, what are, we, what are we saying? Worried is. I okay. Here's, here's what it is. Right now, where I sit at the age that I'm at right now, I notice, I notice changes in my body. I'm making noises when I get up. I'm doing that. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of cracks, a lot of cracking and popping. Uh, you know, just joints. Joints are doing different stuff. Um, and and it's, it's got me thinking about what, what's to come. Something, something's over the hill. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I got something coming. I don't know. I just, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to get to this point because I'm already small. So I don't want, I don't want the... <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't want the back. If I can fight the back off, I'll be back. I'll be happy. If I can fight the, if I can fight this, I don't want this right here. I, I don't want that. If I can fight that off, I'll be happy. But it's something coming. I got something brewing. Yeah. But it, but you're taking care of yourself, so care of probably it's it's not going to be uh, bad or as bad as it would have been. Or I can be the two in shape old guy. Uh -huh. That's a, that's something too. What's that look like? <laughs> that sixty year old guy is like, come on! <laughs> the old guy that just want to show you everything. I'll do the push-ups right now. Come on, <laughs> Uncle Kev, stop, man. Come on! <laughs> everything gets a clap. <laughs> come on! 
<laughs> oh, he's lost it. He's lost his well, mind. We'll have this video to show you when you're <laughs> that person. That guy. Yeah, we'll have I, that. <laughs> you gonna, said you didn't want to be that. It's gonna be, yeah, uh, it's gonna be one or the other. Yeah. Eating broccoli. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Health is wealth. Still, <laughs> still giving slogans that people have heard for 40 years. <laughs> An active heart is a good one. <laughs> oh, God, he's lost it. Oh, my God. All right, Kevin, uh, we have to take a break. More with Kevin after this. That's Kevin Hart and his new movie, Fatherhood, which is so good. You're, you know, you're fantastic, and, and you know how much I love you, but you're, I mean, you're hilarious, which is obvious, but your serious acting is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a very serious role for you. Even mm -hmm. though there's really funny moments in it, your your friends are really funny. And um, but it, it's it's just uh, tell everybody what it's about. Cause it's a, based on a book, right? Uh, yes, it's based on a book. Uh, it's the story of a man who loses the closest thing to him, which is his wife, and he's left with the the job of raising a child. But he struggles with it. You know, it's not something that he jumps at. And it's the question of, why am I still here? Why wasn't I the one that was taken? Why was my wife taken? Uh, and it's his fight with himself. It's a man battling himself to try to become a better version of himself to simply give his daughter the best possible life that he can. And the amount of struggle that turns into love uh, is amazing. And it was good to play, you know, another serious part after The Upside, yeah. <clears throat> which I did with Brian Cranston. It was, I got bit by the bug, and it was, let's find more projects that I feel my audience would gravitate towards, jump at, but more importantly, be shocked at my performance in. And this was it. It was an opportunity for me to represent a black father on screen in a positive light, which you rarely see. You know, yeah. we're, we're always uh, a product of a broken home or a drug addict or he's in jail. The stories are kind of similar within plot. So for the first time, I said, well, I can be a part of uh, creating and changing a narrative that's strictly on the positive side and showing us in a way yeah. that I've got to see. So it was good, really good. It's, it's really good. And those, all of the versions of your daughter, the baby, yeah. that young one with her face and her looks when she's listening to you, and, and then the older, the, the daughter, I mean, they're all You ready for what's crazy? They were all uh, related. Like, there was a, there was a batch of the kids um, that had the older sister, the younger sister, wow. and the infant sister. So I got to work, like, with three, three sisters that were related and then my older two I grew a relationship with them as we were doing the movie because for a while some of the scenes were difficult because uh one of the babies didn't like me like the, the baby just <laughs> didn't like me it didn't matter what I did candy nothing worked but what I found overall is that you're able to use that you're able to use like when I'm playing a guy who who isn't happy about where he is in life well on set I wasn't happy about this baby fussing at me at the right, level that right. it was, I used it. I channeled yeah. that energy. Some people are calling me a modern day Daniel Day Lewis. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I didn't, I didn't start the rumor. I'm wow. just saying, people are saying that. Do you that, remember who said it? Well, there's people. There's a lot of, there's a lot of dialogue okay. because of the places that I'm now able to go. Like, yeah. Ellen, just as an example, That's pain. Oh my God. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That, oh. you, I don't even know. If I you guys was wondering if you were I okay. It, made, it was so real. Yeah. Um, all right, we have to take a break because that, that it looked, shook you up. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Uh, right. <laughs> we'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,